today we are going to discuss about universal set and subset but before that please watch this What can you say about the video? Can you relate it in our topic? Now, let us discuss it further. As you can see, there is a universe. On the next part of it, we have what? Yes, a solar system. And we can find the different planets in them. And one of the planets is the planet earth where we live and in our planet earth there was a lot of continents and one of the continents is with the color orange in the picture that is what yes that is asia and in asia you can see the different countries and what country is that with a circle one yes and in the philippines it is divided in different region and one of the region is the ncr wherein you can find the city of manila wherein our school can be found in tundo now how we are going to relate the following to our lesson about universal set and subset let us define first what is universal set and subset. A universal set is a set that consists of all the elements being considered in a particular problem. The universal set is represented by the letter U. A subset is a set whose elements are all members of another set. The symbol of that is like this, para siyang C na may underline sa baba. To understand it further, let's illustrate the video as this. As you can see, the universe is written in the rectangle because of it is served as a universal set. We all know that we can find the solar system in the universe. And in the solar system, we can find the different planets. And one of that is the planet Earth. And in the, and in the planet Earth, we can find the different continents. And in different continents, we can find the different countries. And in different countries, we can find the different regions. And in different regions, we can find the different cities. What do you observe about universal set and subset? So based on the meaning, we can say that if you are part of something bigger, then you are a subset. For example, town and city is a subset of regions, and regions is a subset of countries, and countries is a subset of a different continents, and the continents is a subset of a planet, which is the Earth, and the Earth is a subset of a solar system, and the solar system is the subset of the universe, and it is because the universe is our universal set. It has all the elements or all the members of the given set. So that is what universal set and subset is all about. So let us relate that in math. For example, we have u is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And a is equal to 2, 3, and 4. b is equal to 2, and 4. Observe the element in B is also the element of A. So therefore, we can say that B is a subset of A. 
Just always remember that if the elements of a given set is also the elements of another set, that is a subset. So, this can be read as B is a subset of A. Another example. If U is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, and A is equal to 6 and 8, B is equal to 2, 6, and 8. Now, which is the subset? Is it an A or B? A has 6 and 8. All the elements of set A is found in set B. So, A is a subset of B. It is also read as A is a subset of B. Okay, example number 3. So, U is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. A is equal to 1, 3, 5, and 7. B is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. Look at the elements of set A and set B. Is there a common element? No. So, therefore, A is not a subset of B and B is not a subset of A. How about if we are going to find the number of subset of the given universal set? For example, I have this set. The element of the set is A and B. If you are going to list the element of the given set, always remember that empty set is always a subset of any other set. So, isusulat muna natin siya. Siya ay lagi ang una natin isulat sa subset. Then, after that, single letter in each set. So, that is A and B. Next is two letter each set. So, A and B. And so on. So, now, how many subsets are there? One, two, three, four. So, there are four subsets. Now, example number two. We have one, two, and three. I'm going to write down the empty set. That is the first subset of that given set. Then after that, one digit each. So one, two, three. And the next two digit each set. So one, two, two, three, and one, three. And last one is the three digits each. So one, two, three. So how many subsets are there? So there are hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight subsets. So there are eight subsets. Next example, number three. So, we have L-O-V-E. Again, empty set. So, then after that, one letter each set. So, L-O-V-E. Next, two let letter each set. So L-O, L-V, L-E, O-V, O-E, and V-E. Ma'am, bakit hindi kasama yung O-L? Kasi meron na siyang L-O. So, hindi na kailangan yung baliktaran. Next is three digit each Set. So, L-O-V, L-O-E, L-V-E, O-V-E. So, and the last one is the four digit each set. So, L-O-V-E. So, how many subsets are there? So, there are, yes, 16 subsets. Next. So, how can we make sure that we are going to find the correct number of a given subset? So, using the given formula, so 2 raised to n or 2 raised to the number of elements. So, let's go back to the first example kanina na kinuna natin ng subset. So, yung set A and B has a 4 element. So, using the formula, 2 raised to n or 2 raised to 2 kasi dalawa yung elements na meron dyan sa given. So, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Okay? Next, example number 2. So, sa number 2, there are 3 elements. So, palitan lang natin ng n, yung n ng number 3. So, 2 raised to 3 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Okay, next. Sa number 3 naman, we have uh, L-O-V-E is equal to 16 subsets. So, again, 2 raised to 4 kasi 4 elements naman siya. So, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 16. Okay? So, now, so, let's try this. Identify whether A is a subset of B or B is a subset of A. 
if u is equal to a, b, c, d, e, f, and a is equal to b, d, and b is equal to a, b, c, d, now, is a is a subset or b, or b is a subset of a? Yes, a is a subset of b. Okay, next, number two. If u is equal to counting numbers less than 10 and a is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and b is equal to 5, so what will be the subset? Yes, b is a subset of a. Next. What are the subset or give the subset if u is equal to 1, 4, 3? Yes. That is empty set, 1, 4, 3, 1, 4, 1, 3, 4, 3, and 1, 4, 3. Now let's have a game. Give the universal set of a given set. The first group to give the correct answer will be a winner. Use the comment box to write your answer. Remember, anyone in the group can answer the problem. Are you ready? Number 1. What is the universal set if A is equal to 1, 4, 5, B is equal to 2, 3, 4, and C is equal to 5, 6, 7. You can now write your answer on the comment box. And the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, next. Number 2, what is the universal set if A is equal to 2, 4, and B is equal to 6, 8, 10? Yes, the answer is 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Next. What is the universal set if A is a null set, B is A, B, C, C is equal to X, Y, Z, and D is equal to M, B, V? Yes, so U is equal to A, B, C, M, T, V, X, Y, and Z. So, now it's your turn. Click the link that you can be found on the chat box and answer the given activity. I hope you learn a lot. So next lesson, operational sets. Happy learning, everyone!